There's gold in these here hills. Happy trails, prospector. And while today we're not looking for actual gold nuggets, we're going to be highlighting the town of Golden, Colorado, and what makes it so unique. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host for everything Denver, Tim Campman. And this channel, we explore all things real estate related around Denver, whether that is uh, different towns, different neighborhoods, the market, cost of living, all of those things. So when you're thinking of a relocation or just a move in and around the Colorado area, Denver Metro specifically, please reach out, call, text, or email, and we'll get you set up for success. I got you back on all things Denver real estate. Okay, so starting off with Golden, Colorado. It is about 12 miles to the west of Denver. Yes, it is kind of nestled into the foothills here. And so it's a nice location where you're not too far out from Denver if you need to work there, but you're far enough out to where you're gonna experience a lot of mountain style living, having uh, great views and landscapes, and uh, just be kind of more of a natural setting in a lot of parts of Golden. The town of Golden was actually named after uh, the gold rush in the 1800s and a lot of settlers um, stopped there to uh, start their gold mine to look for their fortune. Um, over the years, Golden became kind of a small town feel, host to a railroad, and uh, the Coors Brewery actually uh, decided to put their headquarters here and start uh, one of the largest single uh, location breweries in the country in Golden, Colorado. So today, Golden is host to about 20,000 residents. It does still have a lot of that small town charm, kind of a mountain town mixed with the suburbs. So when you get into that downtown Golden area, it's gonna really feel like a uh, small town, local mom and pop shops, uh, local restaurants, eateries, a lot of character and a lot of uniqueness. Um, not, you know, stuffed with just chain restaurants and your big box store. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more unique, a little bit more uh, diverse in the uh, style of cuisine, and uh, not a lot of chain restaurants, this could be a great option for you. Now, Golden's about 12 miles to the west of Denver, so it'd be about a 20-minute commute um, to get into, like, the downtown area if you do work in Denver. It's also only about uh, 20 miles to a 30-minute drive or so into Boulder. So if you work in the Boulder area or maybe you're commuting between the two, you have um, a job that requires you to be in both locations Golden can be kind of a nice little middle ground in between. Uh, the only downside to the location of Golden is if you do have to travel out to the airport, you're about 35 miles to the west, directly across uh, the metro area from the airport. So depending on traffic, if you're you know leaving at the crack of dawn or something, you might get there in 35, 40 minutes. If you are leaving during a rush hour time, it's probably gonna be 45 to an hour to get out to the airport. Now, things that make Golden unique and the things that people love about it is that it is nestled into the foothills. So you do have um, surrounded by mountains. You have uh, a lot of mountain biking trails. One of the most popular spots is Lookout Mountain. Um, so a lot of people go up there to have just these sweeping views over the entire metro area. Um, when you're looking from Lookout Mountain to the east, um, a great spot, actually, if you were to go up there on the 4th of July and see just a ton of fireworks shows all across the Denver metro area. Um, but there's also a lot of mountain biking and hiking trails. Um, and then another unique thing about Golden is the whitewater rafting and kayaking. So you have Clear Creek um, that runs through Golden and up into the mountains a little bit. So if you're into whitewater rafting or kayaking, you have the option that's very close by to do. Or if you just want to go out in the summer and jump on the creek um, and do a little tubing down the creek, you can also do that. So the median home price in the town of Golden is going to be right around $900,000. Money, money, money. And this is skewed a little bit higher because there's a lot of million dollar and multi-million dollar properties um, that are just on the west side of Golden set into the mountains a little bit. And so that really pushes uh, the median home price quite a bit higher. Um, now you will find there are some condo options, some townhome options that are in the uh, $400,000 range, but you are gonna find that most of the homes that are single family are gonna be 750 and above. 
Uh, now, one of the cool things about Golden, it's, it's super unique in the fact that there is the old style downtown where you have homes that are similar to like some of the ones you would find in the our historic neighborhoods of Denver and like Old Town Littleton or Arvada, um, where they're built kind of turn of the century. So you have those in kind of the heart of Golden. But if you move a little bit further out to more of the suburban feel, you're going to find homes that are um, built in the 80s, 90s, even early 2000s. And you're going to have a little bit more of a subdivision typical feel. If you move into more of the mountainous region, you're going to find the mountain estates, the uh, things with some acreage, things that have just magnificent 360 degree views. And those are the properties that are going to be really a million dollars plus. Definitely a ton of outdoor activities to do when you live in Golden. And Golden has kind of um, been a little bit no more well known in the metro area as a, like a tourist or a weekend day trip to go experience some of the things up there. There are golf courses. It's also host to the School of Mines, which is a large engineering school here in Colorado. Um, but a lot of people do come up here for the outdoor activities, either the whitewater rafting, then stop in one of the breweries. There's also brewery tours of the course. Uh, facility but by and large it's for a lot of the outdoor um, hiking biking mountain biking kayaking now there's no ski resorts um, in the town of golden but it is set into the mountain so you are about 30 minutes closer to those ski resorts on the west end uh, shooting up uh, i-70 or up north into the eldora area Now, one of my absolute favorite things about Golden is just the uh, old town, but still Western style feel to this town. More unique options when it comes to dining. Um, and then you're gonna have just the way the whole vibe of the city is, is very small town, but um, laid back, enjoy nature, enjoy the outdoors. Um, less rushed, less crowded, less congested. Keeps that small town feel with kind of a Western vibe, which is kind of a cool, unique thing that you don't find in a lot of small towns. And guys, everybody is just so friendly. I had a bunch of mountain bikers just pass me, all of them saying, good morning, how you doing? Uh, it's, it's very much a uh, friendly, friendly community here. So absolutely, if you are thinking that Golden could be the spot for you um, and you love that mountain style life and you want something that's not too far from the metro area, still has a little bit of unique charm and you aren't uh, scared off by some of the higher prices, that would be my only con to Golden is uh, median home prices quite a bit higher than some of the other parts of Denver, but you are paying for the beauty, the closeness to nature, um, with also not being so far away from the metro area and all the modern conveniences. So hit me up, call, text, or email if Golden is in your future, or you'd like to know some of the other amazing towns in and around Colorado. I would love to be your resource. Remember, I got your back on all things Denver real estate. Until the next one, guys, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.